All right. I think everything is ready to go now. Check a little bit of uh, minor adjustments. Hey, Espeon, how you doing? Jesus, I did not... I did not think that I would start this late tonight. I really didn't... I didn't plan on it. A lot of things came up. So, sadly... What is it, like two hours from start time? Yeah, basically... Yeah, basically two hours from when I was supposed to start. Starting pretty fucking late tonight. Jesus Christ. Alright. So, what I plan on doing tonight, I'm doing great. I'm doing pretty fine. A little, uh, a little tired, not gonna lie. Had to run all over the place today. My only source of energy today was, uh, some pumpkin ice cream that I got from, like, this, um, this, like, local area that makes their own ice cream. Pumpkin flavor. It was really good. Um, so what I'm planning to do tonight is I'm planning to at least, if it, if, if possible, I'm planning to at least do, um, like, two chapters. But, you know, that last chapter, which was, what, chapter two, was pretty fucking long. Which, you know... No problem with that, but damn, two chapters seem uh seem pretty crazy. So let's get started. My dog is over there fidgeting in his cage. He just I gave him one of my shirts to lay down on, and he's just fucking about. Um, so let's get started here. Episode three, turn about samurai. Day one investigation. The investigation. God, I am so not ready for all this, uh... Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't think it would go by itself like that. All right. The moon? No, is it you who should gaze upon the moon? For as will be the last moon you'll see. See you in hell, evil... Oh fuck. I couldn't even read it fast enough. The warrior sword gleam is striking the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger Returns. October 14th, 5.31 p.m. Right in Co. Law Office. Will Frieza be defeated? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Frieza defeated. Yeah. Because that's how that goes. <laughs> Alright. That rocked. See you in hell. Evil Mega Straight. Mega Straight. Man Mandy Straight. I can never say that word correctly. Whoa. Stop waving that broom around. Oh, Nick. I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. I work here. What was that surreal show you were watching? It was so surreal, the way the samurai swinged his sword so valiantly. What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? He's only the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old. Aren't you like... She has to be at least like 20. She doesn't look like she's 21 to me. She has Maya has to be at least like 20. Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Cause fucking anime is anime, duh. Why wouldn't you get excited? Hey, I'm only 17. Oh. She's 17. She's already living by herself. You know what? Anime. Anime. Living by yourself at the age of 17. That's 17. See? I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Way to make me feel, uh, self-conscious. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Really? I thought he was like 25. Then watch it with me. He's really cool, and it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they want to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I really worry about kids these days. Me too, man. Fucking, I remember talking to my, uh, my niece and nephew, and it's like... Well, I want to be a rapper when I grow up. I want to be a streamer or something. And I'm like, wow. 
Funny enough, there's a Phoenix Wright anime. Yeah. Gramps. Well, the Steel Samurai's over. I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish we had some clients. A month has passed since my trial. Mia's murderer was the talk of the town for some time, but no one paid attention to Wright and Co. Law Office. How am I going to pay the rent this month? Isn't that like a constant thing in Phoenix, right? I hear that's like a constant struggle they have. It's like, how am I gonna, how am I gonna pay the rent? I'm always broke. For someone who wins big cases. It'll be okay. I'm sure some big client is just around the corner. Hmm. October 16th, 8.14th AM, Phoenix, right? Bedroom. Bring, bring. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Boop, doop, doop, doop. Uh, hello? This is Phoenix. <laughs> Nick! Maya, what? It's still early. It's still early? Wait, what? <laughs> did it say, did it say AM or PM? Probably said AM, I probably wasn't paying attention. It's the Steel Samurai! Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean that guy on the show? Yes! They're saying that Steel Samurai killed the villain! Um, ain't that what he do? Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No, I mean he actually did it in real life! He skewered the villain with the Samurai Spear! Say what you want, but, um, in my opinion, spears are more trustworthy than swords. Only a, only a coward would use a sword. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Just come to the office quick, please, Nick. Beep. Okay. October 16th, 9 to 22 a.m., Wright & Co. Law Office. Maya here, watching. Oh fuck, Maya's here watching television. I fucked that up. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers, Powers. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what that's supposed to be a play on. Is it like the power Will? Cause he's a samurai. Or are they making fun of? They making fun of Will Smith or some shit. <laughs> All right, Powers plays the lead role in the popular kids show, The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo-Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer. Really? Really? Jack Hammer? Yeah, willpower. Uh, <laughs> who plays the villain known as Evil Megastrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Megastrate costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, 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 it's a nightmare. The Steel Samurai is over. The world is over. Pring, pring. Why, hello. Yes, Wright & Co. Law Office. Is she answering? Is she answering the office's, like, important calls with her cell phone? That's how we work it around here? Okay. What? Nick! It's the Steel Samurai! What? Yes. Yes, of course. We'll be right there. Beep. Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. For how long? Lunch detention? After school detention? What are we talking about? So what? So I've decided this will be our first case. Alright. What to do? Well, what should we do? What should we do? I can't just sit there like that. We have to get down to the detention center and meet the Steel Samurai. Does she want to investigate this case, or, or does she just, eh, or just do some sightseeing? I wonder. My money's on sightseeing. Any ideas? We don't have enough information to make a case yet. Just admit you don't have a clue what happened. No, we just don't have enough information. That's what we call not having a clue, Maya. Uh, I was about to, um, examine some shit. Hey, are you aware that I am indeed an attorney? What about this? 
You like showing that off, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do, actually. <laughs> I literally do that to everyone. My poor, poor ego. <laughs> Jesus. They got me. They got me good. They called me out on my bullshit. October 16th, detention center, visitor's room. Oh my god. That's the guy who plays the Steel Samurai? Jesus, fuck. My man looks like a hobo. What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client. It, that's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this. But he's definitely did it, murderer. At least once, maybe twice. Whoa, hold on now. What are you saying? Um, y yeah? Something wrong? N no, no. Don't kill me, sir. This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed? Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh... Yeah, pretty much. He does look like Wolverine. Actually, he looks more like, um, Sabretooth than Wolverine. <laughs> now it's okay. This is this is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know? D wait. Oh, for a moment I thought he had, like, a fucking handkerchief. But it's like, a. I mean, it is a handkerchief, but you know what I mean. I thought he had, like, that that weird, like, um, that weird, like, ascot shit that fucking rich people be wearing. It's the kids, you know? I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams, huh? I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> My life is over. My money. Nick. What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. Maya, make up your make up your fucking mind. Like Fred from Scooby-Doo? Yeah, but like, Fred has an ascot. I'm talking about like, uh, like, if you ever watch Mystery Incorporated, this is the only thing I can think of right now. Uh, Mystery Incorporated, like Daphne's father, he has like that fucking cushion shit in his shirt, like around his collar. Fred just has an ascot, you know what I mean? I don't know what that shit's called that pillowy shit that they put right near their collars it might just be an ascot maybe uh he's a good guy i mean he's good yeah he didn't do it make up your fucking mind maya all right you know what i want to do real quick the guard monitor's visitor's room he seems frozen in awe of will powers <laughs> all right Smile for the camera. Oh, I can't look at the bars? Okay. I just want to... Just want to examine that. Now, before we get started, Mr. Powers, are you aware that I am indeed an attorney? Um, here. I... Uh, I see. Let me guess. This guy wasn't the top student in improv class. <laughs> what? What does that have to do with showing my badge? Maybe you can start by telling us what happened. Yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday, actually. It was only yesterday. The case had came down to Global Studios for a run through with the case, the cast. My bad. The cast had come down to Global Studios for a run through. We went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for five in the afternoon, but when five came around and the staff gathered at the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. Oh, that's a hole. Jesus. <laughs> uh, they took off his mask and discovered that it was Jackhammer dead. He had been ex expertly skewered with the samurai spear. The samurai spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I, the steel samurai uses as, as a weapon. Steel Samurai. Maybe you can explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. 
Also, is the basis of his arrest like, you play the Steel Samurai, this is your weapon, you did it. Is that just how we do it now? Fucking, come on guys. Maybe you can explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is. Nick, how can you say such a thing? I, I'm sorry sir, I apologize for my partner. He's new to this, and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's alright, really. The Steel Samurai is the lead character in a popular kids show. He walks the streets of Neo Old Tokyo. In essence, yeah. In essence, everyone's an asshole sometimes in this game. Also, is his fucking... Is his pocket on his jacket shaped in the shape of a fucking pipe? <laughs> I just realized that. Put that in your fucking pipe and smoke it. Fighting battles after battle against the evil Megastrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil Megastrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> I see. Neo Old Tokyo. Who comes up with these names? It's the new Old Tokyo. You know? Powers Alibi. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studio at 9. We worked through some action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after 5. I was late for rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me here. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder. Some action hero. Hey, what the fuck that supposed to mean? People gotta sleep? <laughs> Even heroes gotta sleep. Look at fucking... Look at almost like every shonen anime, the hero's always sleeping. Even Link, he's sleeping at the beginning of every game. What would the kids think? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick, let's go. I'm willing to bet 10 bucks she asked for autographs. Yeah. Alright, well thank you Mr. Powers, we'll be moving on. Good sir. October 16th, Global Studios, main gate. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Considering the person who made the name can probably pay rent. <laughs> I'm not sure if Phoenix has room to talk. Yeah, real talk! I mean, I guess, well... Yeah, Phoenix doesn't have room to talk. <laughs> he really doesn't. But is it really Phoenix's fault, though? Because, like... He didn't ask to be in charge of the of the office. It was kind of thrusted upon him, right? But he just he just tuck it up. He could have said no. Also, he's a new, quote unquote, new. Technically, pretty new, to be an attorney, even though he only had like two cases. It's only been like a month too. Damn. Anyways, awesome. Aren't you excited? Hey, you there? Her name is Old Bag. Really? Really? Not even question mark, just instantly. God damn. What you want? You gotta go through me. Oh, you want in? You gotta go through me. Oh, sorry. We're, uh, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I'm security. And it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. G gawkers Gawkers. Sightseers. Tourists. You know the type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Used today. Something horrible happens and oh my god, oh my god, stop, stop! I can't read that fast! Jesus! I, I give up. I give up. Hippie clothes? She's just talking all types of shit to her. Wendy Old Bag, or Wendy Old Bag. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I mean, I hope not. I don't know, it's possible. Hey! Listen when you're being spoken to, youths today. Blame it all on youth, ma'am. Are you? Are you? Uh, do you know that I am an attorney? What's this? You giving that to me? Absolutely not. It's mine. You can't have it. Oh man. It seems like one of the kids have awoken from their slumber, and now they are crying. Hopefully that does not go on the microphone. I'm trying my best not to sound like 
the people on the Xbox Live of the old day. You know, when like, you would hear music blasting through their shitty microphone, baby screaming in the background, them getting yelled at by their girlfriends or some shit. <laughs> the studio. So what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days, I ain't asked for your life story, ma'am. No, you are a star? Only a little twinkle between the... Alright. Sorry about that, I live with monsters. And they decided to unplug my modem. And then, my internet went off. Do you feel the frustration that I have right now? <laughs> Good thing I caught that. Jesus. I looked at the corner of my eye, it's like, OBS has disconnected. I'm like, excuse me? What? What are you talking about? Masaka. Impossible. Can't believe this shit. Now I gotta get all situated in my chair again. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna skip whatever the fuck she says, because I don't know it, what got cut off. But something got cut off. Alright, so let's start that back over. We lost virtually nothing. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dream comes true. In fact, in my younger days... No, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Whoa! This place really has come downhill, you know? But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too. He was... Hammer. The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate? He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Damn. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No, only thought he was. Uh, no one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jackhammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. Your job is to sit in a booth, ma'am. Your job is to sit in a booth and not even go on set. You don't know shit. <laughs> I would know, because I do security guard bullshit. <laughs> you don't know nothing. Uh, what kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as ultimate action hero. Why do I feel like she's a murderer? <laughs> Why does he look like he's straight out of Ani Musha? <laughs> For real. He was simply dashing in the in the uh, bah, 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 bah. can't speak. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But there was an incident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Why are you so why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right... Uh, what? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 in the afternoon to 5 when they found the body. Now the studio... I cannot even... I can't read tonight. Jesus fuck. I can't read every night. That's my excuse. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left of here. So, if you want to go to this studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. Didn't he say he was asleep the whole time? But Mr. Powers said he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to head home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. Huh. I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request, and maybe I'll just let you in. Maybe. Um. Eh, I was, I was gonna say, 
I don't think security guards have the right to do that, but they do. They actually do. Depending on how their place works. The lady here thinks she owes this place. Uh, she owns this place, obviously. Alright, well. Let's go get that letter. Hello? How's the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. Huh. So, I need a letter. Your alibi, security lady. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She called me as suspicious looking. Yes, actually, she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She suck up to all the big wigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let it up on you. She's got some nerves. Do you think you could write up a letter uh, formally requesting my re representation? Bleh. Of course. Power's request. I just hope this will get me past the security lady. Can we uh, hear about your alibi one more time? Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? What? what no I never do that. Earlier you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. W what? That's not possible. I... I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I knew... I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. I know. I'm sorry. But I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. You better not have a fucking twin brother. I swear. You better not. Don't go anywhere, sir. I'll be right back. But don't go anywhere, you can't go anywhere. I gotta present it to her. There you go, lady. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm? Yes, yes, I recognize that bold, childish scrawl. Powers request given to the security lady. To think he would entrust his fate to use such as unreliable... Wait, what? <laughs> to think he would entrust his fate to use of such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyways... You may pass, but only left from here towards the studio. No going to the right. That's the employee's area. No one's allowed inside, pal. Were my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Ah, oh, fucking detective dick. Hey, hey, Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. W what'd you do? You sneak in there? Fucking you, goddamn rat! I love you. Hey, not bad. Those are five cents a piece. Thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. Five cent. Five cents. Fifty cents. All right. Studio one. Gate dressing room. All right. Employer main gate. Studio two. No secret passages here. All right. Well, let's get a move on. Outside studio number one. Maya's a bit of a klepto. Really? She just snatches shit? That's amazing. Uh, October 16th, studio one entrance. Hey. Aren't you that murderer from the other day? Can you fucking not, man? Uh, is that conf It's that confused detective. Hey, pal. You know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault. Yeah, it's his fault, man. It's his fault. No one told him to get upset. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window. Maybe because he realized how much of a dickhead he was. Hmm? So? Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Yeah. Hmm. Damn, he has no com- Why you gotta crush his dreams like that, Maya? Um, detective? I think you hurt his feelings. <laughs> yeah! What the fuck? Damn. Relentless. Oh no. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey. What exactly are you two doing here? Um, well... We're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. I'm not your fucking buddy, pal. I'm not your guy, dude. <laughs> That's my endearing character trait. I say he's a character, alright. Just in case... I don't think he, he noticed. Since he thinks I'm a murderer, but sir... I have to inform you that I am an attorney. Detective, you see this? This is my attorney's badge. Uh-huh. Don't you think it's a little sad when you have to explain what your badge means, pal? Real men show their PD badge and that- <laughs> What the fuck? I admit, the design of my badge leaves a lot to be desired. It really does. It's just a flower. Maybe it should just be a big L for lawyer. No, no, I don't want to walk around with a big L on me. Luigi does that and see where that's got him? He had a whole year to himself and nobody really cared about it. Hmm? I'm not so sure about that one. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, Chief. Calm down. <laughs> Alright. So how's the investigation going? Oh wow, I didn't I didn't think he would actually say that. Well, it's hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick. Maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right, so detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report? The latest version, if you please. Hmm. Right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Thank you. Time of death, 10.15 at 2.30 p.m. Cause pierced through the chest by spear. What is this fucking music playing right now? I'm liking it. It's fucking great. I love it. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in the Studio One. Now the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other, uh, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2:30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2:30. That person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask security lady at the main gate. Nick, that's true. Anyone would think that Will's power did it with, uh, with that kind of evidence. I'm having a hard time reading. Thanks for cheering me up. Thanks a lot, Maya. Security lady? About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady? What a charmer. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. When I showed her my badge, she wanted to take it from me. What the fuck, man? Remember what Powers said. She's a sucker for authority. Uh, she even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? Um, can we have that? What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. The photo of the steel samurai heading towards the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up there on the gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by that, the camera automatically snaps a photo of them. Oh no. Nick, he has evidence. We're finished. Funny. For someone with hard proof that it doesn't look too he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? Is he a fan of the Silver Samurai? Gumshoe, be straight with me. Are you hiding evidence? Don't look so happy when you say that. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> you like to ask the employees here the same questions? Sure thing, pal. Go whenever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't found already. <laughs> I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We got a free pass to this place. Now's our chance to check things out. Well, let's move on before he changes his mind. What? We can only go to the main gate. Huh? I guess I examined to go where I want to go? The fuck is this thing? The studio's mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some kind. That's a monkey? 
It was pretty weird. But that kind of monkey has a nose like that. He's holding a sign in his hands. Right to Studio 1, left to Studio 2. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and, it had, and the head broke off. It took the tree down with it too. Yeah, I know the feeling. Fucking, what was it, last week that big ass hurricane we had around here? All these trees everywhere. Set to Studio 1. The entrance to Studio 1. The studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. Hey, it's locked. Looks like you need the card key to get in. Makes sense that it would want to... Eh. Let's start that over again, since I'm fucking it up. It makes sense that they would want to keep out non-employees. Hmm. Alright, well... Can I just... No? What do I do, click on Studio 2 to move to Studio 2? I don't know. Do you have a card key, sir? I guess I'll head back to the main gate. Nick, look. That security lady is uh, is in the guard station stuffing her face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, and they're soft enough she doesn't need teeth to chew them. Wow. She ain't that old. Hey, you. Well, are you satisfied? Powers is guilty yet? Huh? She had to make my life harder by giving the photo to Detective Gumshoe. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Um, oh, that? I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left. Just to the left from here is the gate with the camera that took the photo. It's my job to check the photos every day, you see? Reason for suspicion. This guard station is in a cent uh, central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now, poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one who did it, I don't know who did. Maybe it was you. <laughs> good one, Sonny. She thinks I was joking. I ain't joking. This ain't no laughing matter. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was? Past tense. Oh yes, he was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. Making a star like him play the evil Megastraight is a disgrace, I tell you. Hammer took it pretty hard, and who can blame him? Automatic camera. About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when when it takes the picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home. I do. Alright. Well, can I... The computer that runs the studio's security cameras. Hey! No touching! It was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. What's this? An overhead map of the studios, right from here is the employees area, to the left, the actual film studio. Okay. Looks like a studio van. They probably use it to carry around film equipment. The main entrance to the studio. There was a big scene here yesterday with onlookers pressing up against the gate. Hmm. Present. Map. Cause of death. There's nothing else I can talk to her about. Oh, now we can head to employee area. Cool. October 16th, Global Studios, employee area. Nick! This is where they do all the behind-the-scenes stuff. Hey, look! There's Paris dressing room. No one hears this... Eh. No one hears this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Sure, why not? What's this? This looks like it stands out. Can't do nothing there. Snack machine. Let's see. Cola, candy, chips, gum. Huh? It's so normal. I was expecting some cool themed snacks or something. Popcorn, at least. Wait, look! Samurai soda! Nick, try this. Ladies first. The remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. 
There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. Hmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach, just for steaks. What? She's gonna be a carnivorous animal. That must be the storage room. That's where they keep all the film equipment. Wow, Nick. You know a lot about the industry. Um, what else would they keep in the film studio? Vents. Window. A window into the dressing room. The glass is frosted, so I can't see. Alright. There's a sign by the dressing door. Eh, by the dressing room door. Well, Powers, it must be neat to be a star and have your own room like this. The door to the dressing room is not locked. Hey, Nick, let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something as a souvenir. You just gonna steal his shit? Well, you did say she's a bit of a klepto. Damn. Just grabbing stuff. How do you how do you grab that much stuff? She has no she has no pockets. <laughs> what do you mean find? You never know. There might be something like the samurai spear. We don't need a spear. And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud. All right. Let's go, Maya. October 16th, Global Studios, dressing room. Paris dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right. There's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth for a sake. Alright. I gotta look at this. There's a vast array of, co of cosmetics here. Oh, this is the wig he uses as Samurai Boogie Woogie. Nick, try this on. No. And how can you tell the name of the show just by looking at a wig? I, um, kind of like samurai movies. Kinda. That's a little bit of an understatement, don't you think? What the fuck is this suspicious bag doing here? Hmm, this must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that. Look, an employee keycard. That must be Power's. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it, you mean? Borrow? Nope. Take. I meant take. It's mine now. It belongs to me. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. They must have given these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. You're just a fucking... You're just a fucking animal, aren't you? Just, just vicious. Unending stomach. How many stomachs does this girl have? An endless supply. There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I say you were already wearing one myself. Yeah, pretty much. It looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it's kind of dusty outside. Alright, seems like that's everything in here. Tissues? Oh. Let's just skip that. I saw something I can click on. They've always had mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I say my hair is still nice and spiky just how I like it. It's super spiky. Alright. Employee area. Studio's main gate. Outside Studio 1. The entrance is Studio 1. This is Studio where they found Jack Hammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if there's... I wonder if this card key we borrow from the dressing room will work. Beep. It's opened. Alright, we're in. She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Ah, that was pretty easy. Oh! <laughs> Look at that chalk out. October 16th, Studio One. And that super mysterious bag in the corner. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so, so real. Well, the evil Megastrade did die here, and the Steel Samurai killed him. The murder weapon was a, sa a samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Alright. I 
can't check this suspicious ass bag here. What about this? Nope. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap, they clap at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone. A real life megaphone. Ready, Nick? Action! This girl is more trouble than I thought. Alright, well, let's check the important thing here. They outline where Jackhammer's body, uh, body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the Evil Mega Straight costume. I guess they're... I guess that's why he had... Eh. Can't speak. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stab would at least leave a few bloodstains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Mm. Can I not check? This is suspicious. Can I see the murder? Do we have it recorded? Wow, look at that camera. It must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. You're already touching it. Wow. Hey, you! No touching that! Huh? Oh, sorry. My partner's kind of, you know... She's the murderer. I feel it. She's the murderer. She did it. That's her. That's her. She did the murder. You know? No, I don't know. Hmm. Who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I'll help with props and stuff. Move them around, order new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers? WP? I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly. He has to be innocent. Oh yeah, she's the murderer. Don't worry, leave it to us. Alright, let's talk to the murderer. Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see? Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequence. Oh, I see. Is that the security lady, like, gawking over this shit? Wow. Also... He broke his spear? I didn't realize that. His spear's broken. Alright. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area that where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes. That's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go in his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... Uh, what kind of girl do you think I am? What kind? A murder... A murderer kind, that's what I think. You murderer. I don't trust you, not one bit. No, I'm sure you're a fine girl. Yeah. Phoenix, I'm not sure about that. So much for getting confirmation of Power's alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. The WP was the only- Now you're calling him WP? WP was the only one who came to the studio. Then he has to be the killer. There's even a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue. A lead. Well, I don't know about that, but the day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yeah. Yeah, you sensed? Fucking murderer sense. Yes, yeah, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Alright. Sensing someone? Are you fucking psychic or some shit? So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I 
I think doesn't cut it in the witness testimony. Nick, what about the security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Alright, we'll ask, but I highly doubt. By the way, are you aware that I am indeed an attorney? Um, any thoughts about this? Sorry. I don't really want to think too much about what happened just yet. Alright, cool. That was a pretty tamed response, actually. Main gate. Damn, security lady. For a security lady, you're just leaving out all types of details, huh? October 16th, Global Studios, main gate. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you have seen a ghost. I oh, mean, I might as well be talking to one right now. Falcon must be a century old. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of the hammer's death was 2.30? Are you sure that Powers was the only one that went through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have witnesses who think that someone from outside uh, was here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were the one want uh, you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dare question me? Yeah. Alright, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do? Um, we were just talking to the asset. Wow, you just snitched her out real quick. Why would you... Why would you do that? Her. She's not even a full-time employee. All you youngins are like that nowadays. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. Just, I'ma just let her. Did she pass out? Oh, she left. <laughs> well, Nick. This is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. You're damn right. Head to that computer. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Nick. Maybe we can see the photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how it works, see things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see first. I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. One. That's w that's when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Oh. Oh, okay. Um. It would be this. Right? There. Enter it. Hey, printed out the data for the day. Let's see what we got. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, uh, I had to catch my bearings for a moment. Well, he is one who always wears a suit. Yeah, also, does no one realize the detail that uh, Samurai's walking on his knees? Looks like whoever's wearing a suit isn't tall enough for that. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something printed on the back. Huh? October 15, 2 p.m. Photo number 2. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day. Nope. That's the only one on the computer. Alright. Hey, Nick. Can't we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said, anyways. Let's show her the photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're certif- Wait, what? Oh, you're craftier than I give you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil mega straight. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it's just a joke. So are we done for today? Seems like it. I think this photo is what we need for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is the security lady. Huh. It has to be that assistant. It has to. Alright, well... That was pretty good. 
Let's continue. October 18th, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number four. Oh, we're already in here. Okay. I didn't expect that so soon. Court is in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammers in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this hennish... What the... Hen... Yeah, I can't say the word. My mind is being blown up right now. Hennuous crime. I believe that's how you say that. The evidence presented during the trial... Well, out. Oh, wow. During the trial, we'll all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well. I would like to move on to the testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well. I call the most famous, most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I explain with the guide map here. To understand the case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This year's employee area. The actor did a run-through on their- I did not realize that there was an open- an open fucking vent there. Alright. The actor did a run-through of their action sense during the morning here. Action sense. Action scenes. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1pm on that day. Past the security station, there is a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here is Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman that, uh, young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, 1 p.m., the security lady got to the security uh, got to the guard station. Now jump ahead later on the day at 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2:30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that thing? Uh, that again? Hmm. Should I listen to the whole thing again? Uh, now we're good. We're good. I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Samurai spear added to the court case. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call this security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? Um, wow! <laughs> My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Your name, please. Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. I will not! Your name! Please! Seems Ezra has a bit of a trouble getting his witness to say their names. Wendy Old Bags, dear. So, oh my god, stop. Stop! I can't! There's a boy, the captain. Wait, he called the old bag. What? what? Objection! I object to the witness talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, sir, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Alright, testimony time. Also, I should really save. 
On the day of the murder, I arrived to the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest, uh, and the rest had been doing a run through there, seen, uh, there since the morning. I will have some errands to run that morning. Anyways, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from there until five. Now the murder happened at 2:30 p.m. Right? Interesting to me because a certain man walked by at 2 p.m. It was Powers, the man right there, and was heading towards the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Alright. I got this. First things first. Let's save. Because I don't want to watch all that shit again. And let me get a nice sip of my water. I just spilt some on my shirt. Alright. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's do this. On the day of the murder, I arrived. First of all, let's see the evidence here. We have the guy map. Time. Pierce. Key card. Uh, picture was taken at 2. Check it. Hmm, alright. On the day of the murder, I arrived at 1 p.m. Pulled hammer, rest me doing run through, some errands in the morning. What errands exactly? What kind of errands? Oh, well, you know. No, I don't. I actually don't. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching poor Hammer and Powers observing, you know? Oh, observing? Were you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. I'm not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway, I was always- I always watch Hammer's run-throughs. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow, I want to see a Steel Samurai run-through too. Oh shit, I just hit my microphone. You can quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Anyways, it was 1 p.m. I was at the main gate until 5. Alright. Hmm. Now that the murder happened, interesting to me because a certain man walked right by, it was Powers. Alright, let's press that. Because his photo doesn't show Powers, it shows the Steel Samurai. So you saw Mr. Powers. That's what I said. Got wax in your ears, Sonny? Nick, this is your chance. You had time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again. I saw him. Alright, well, you're, you're a crock of shit. Just gonna hit you with that. Objection! Let me get this straight, old bag. Uh, miss old bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're take but you're talking about a man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's powers, right? No, they can't. Uh, um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Power does play the role of Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Damn it. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, uh... Miss Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bags, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Willpowers, do you? Hmm, noisy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised. Even Speedwagon is scared. <laughs> the prosecution would like to ask the old, uh, the witness. Please... Please make known all information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? 
You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyways, I showed the photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give a second look. Ugh. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof, then. Alright, what do we got? I never said anything. I don't mean... My, wait, what? I never said anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of his prompts. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at this picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. There's how I knew it was Powers, Happy. Hmm. So he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her. Yeah, she's, uh, like, it's pretty obvious what she's hiding. Alright. Morning. So I power ship to fall. He broke prop. Alright, which prop? He broke a prop. Sure did. His own samurai spear. Samurai spear, the murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Alright. A break in the shaft has been meant with duct tape. Sorry, I had to yawn. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty badly. You can see he dragged his leg. Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Okay. I want to press that, too. Because this is news to me. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyways, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot, okay. Hmm. Saw a power strip and fall. The morning during the run-through. Trip and fall? Yes. And to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh. So Power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Let, let's skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh dear. She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. Alright. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, what I want to try here... Oh. Alright. She's such a big fan of Hammer, she thinks she would be cooperative. Exactly, right? Don't you want to get his killer? Well, did a... I mean, maybe she might want to see a... What's his face? Crash and burn. Powers. If he took like his spot in the limelight. I think we heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there's one thing that bothers me, which is Where's this steel samurai costume now? Um actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking though. Hmm. Anyways, that's not important. The witness did yeah, it is important actually. The witness did see the steel samurai, yes? And it's clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure? Wait, what? Are you sure you're sure, Honor? Wait, and see what happens. Hmm. Objection! Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we haven't agreed that the photo shows... Wait, what? But we have to agree that the photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammers. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove the doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. 
All right. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have had seen them. Okay. Hmm. So, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Alright. Guess we're gonna have to press a little bit more. The only person I saw go to the studio then was Will Powers. No one else went there. What about before you got to the station? You mean before one? When everyone was in the employees area before then, and I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention. Alright. They have you would have seen them. That's the only person you saw, though. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Quiet, quiet. Quiet? Yeah. I don't like the way that's written. <laughs> Nobody's suspicious looking passed by then. Nobody's suspicious looking. Right. Alright, no one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had the pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy? <laughs> well, Winback sure has balls, or, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> I like Maya's face. She's like, I'm tired of this shit, man. Well, Winbags have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or, for the matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? Hmm. Okay. Might have some evidence here. Time of death. 10, 15, 30. Employees grants entry. 2 p.m. Alright. The person you saw going to stay before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. Alright, well, let's press the other one. How do you know that? Uh, didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret pal, he told me everything. I see Detective Gumtree shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. Alright. Damn. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Did I press this one? I don't think I pressed this one. Are you absolutely sure? Yeah, I did. Okay. So I pressed everything, it seems. No one else went there. The person she saw. Alright, so there has to be something here. Uh, key card. He's dragging one leg. I don't... Hmm. If they had, I would have seen them. Alright, well... Shit. I think I'm gonna hit her with the photo again? Like... The fact that we're still calling Will Powers is still kinda sketch. Hold on! Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes sir, -ee, Sonny. So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here I thought you didn't know your head from your hole in the ground. What? Right. Anyways. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh. You know, if you want to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That's very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2pm, photo number 2. Oh. 
Oh, I didn't realize that. Photo number two. What about number one? Even I know that means it was taken 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really sunny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is bit at the end where it says number two. Photo number two. The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really is the only photo? Oh, shit! Order! Order, I say! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that no one but two people went in the studio that day. Yet there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have, ra who could have erased the data from the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. Ugh. You watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went. Um, well, yes. That's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, ahem. <clears throat> I don't understand these new... F this new fa failed? Fanged? Filed? Fangled? Fangled? The fuck is that word? <laughs> I don't understand these new computer things. Um, Angie boy, help! <sighs> but believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Hmph, <laughs> some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Old Bag? Ah, uh, that's right. I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate? Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes. I suppose you could put it that way. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. Alright. Your credibility is being shot through the fucking roof. Anyways. Every day, after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see? Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss Old Bags? Oh shit, I skipped it, my bad! Well, of course, Sonny, I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyways, Mr. Wright, please explain, uh, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I say that was a turn for the unexpected. It was kind of expected, this. Oh, yeah. True. Alright, what we got? Every day, finish guys, you have one more important job to do. Go through the photos, record on the screen, blah blah. Throw any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see? Come to think of it now, remember to throw it out one photo that day. Care to explain what the photo was? Well, who in the heck was in the photo you erased? Hmm, a fanboy. Fanboy? Steel Samurai's fanboy. Real freaks, you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging around one, uh, always hanging about. One was there that day. I'm joking! W wait a second. Did you say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well... If you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and, well, that's where they come in from. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids, children, whippersnappers. Kids? So on the photo that you erased... It was a boy, probably second or third grade. What? O order, order I say. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that, that day. One was a steel samurai dragging his leg, and the other was a boy who looked to be about second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see, uh, we see his type every day. Can't stop him. Can't catch him. Boy in second or third grade. Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not possible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. 
Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider the new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. Okay. October 18th, 11A. District Court Defense Lobby number three. Mr. Powers. Y yes. Tell me straight. Were you really in the dressing room? You didn't go to the studio. I didn't get... I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in the security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should better... You should take... You should take better care of stuff. <laughs> I couldn't imagine anyone who wanted to steal a Steel Samurai costume. So, where does this leave me? It doesn't look good. You're the only likely suspect, you know? Nick. What are we gonna do? First we play for a minute. Well, start, uh, we'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. It'll take them so long to shoot us down that... That, wow, wow, okay. It'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right. But if we pick the wrong person, we might loose up a bit. We might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic awesome at all, actually. Hey, Nick. It's time. Okay, let's go. What does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> Alright. I need a sip of water. I'm dying over here. I also didn't eat anything besides, like, that pumpkin ice cream today, so. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Will Powers. Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, you'll present the prosecution thoughts on this matter. The prosecution thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we have may not be hard evidence, but there's still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for the verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the uh, prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed the crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind, however. Be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who was the person other than Miss Powers to commit the murder? The security lady. The assistant. I'm telling you, she's the murder. I'm telling you. It was the assistant. The Steel Samurai's costume was in his dressing room. She stole it. And in doing so, she became the Steel Samurai. So you're saying the Steel Samurai in the picture is really the assistant? That's correct, Your Honor. If you're serious, you've got guts, Mr. Wright. Remember the photo? Wasn't the Steel Samurai a little lamb? He was dragging his foot. Oh. Ah, uh, bad timing. Remember the testimony certain. Power's injury. Powers and poor... Powers and poor hammers were at a run-through. Oh, and me? What about the assistant? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. The assistant knew nothing of Mr. Powers' injuries. She could look the Steel Samurai... Wait, what? She can look the Steel Samurai... Look with that costume. But she couldn't walk the Steel Samurai walk. She would have been limped. Ugh. That kind of takes the leg out from under the case. Mr. Wright. Man, but like, if she's shorter than him, like, she can just be, you know, walking regularly, dragging her legs. I'm afraid I have to penalize you. I've worn. Alright. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. May we move on? Uh, this fight isn't over yet. If you would, Your Honor, one more chance, please. Very well, go ahead. 
So, who is the person other than Mr. Powers? Okay. Well, then the security lady, it would have to be. Right? Doesn't matter. I have enough. I have enough health to just get by this. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbags. St who? The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in the picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than the pow other than Powers and Hammer that knew about that injury. The security lady, Oldbags. What? What? Whippersnapper. Order! Order! Is it true, Old Bags? Old Bags? That's Miss Old Bags to you! Miss Old Bags was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post and steal the Steel Samurai's costume. Then slip into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing a Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. All right, I see. Excellent deduction. Uh, d d uh, excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here, Sherlock Holmes number two, baby. Hmm? That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pr uh, pounces? Doesn't he actually jump with the objections some new damn, uh, with some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have any opinions on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Wh what? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it, is that it? Angie boy, don't just sit there, do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this, take this hole away. Uh, press further, give Granny a break. Press further, always press. Stay pressing. The very same reason that makes Miss Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast double doubts on a oh, wow double doubts where'd I get that to cast doubts on Miss Olbag's actions on that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forgot that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive too. Hmm, indeed. And that did it. Now Winbags is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy. The one whose photo I erased. He's only a grade schooler, though. He said second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops. Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? The boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh. Or is it nice to... Uh, or is it... Be, uh, fuck, I can't speak. Or is it be nice to the kids It means your elders day, whippersnapper? I have proof. Pr proof Indeed. Then we'll see the proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed the murder? Um... Keycard. Right? The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a key card to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relations to the studios have a key card? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? Comment on this? Hmm. The windbag, speechless. This has, this has got to be the first. Very well. This court will be suspended. Uh, court will suspend. Eh. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edwards, please find out more of your witness, Mr. Uh, Miss Wendy's. Uh, what was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. <laughs> He's like, who cares about her first name? She's old. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. Damn. Wait a second. I'm not gonna just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me? I'm talking. What? Oh, great. Stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. <laughs> I'm loving Maya every step of the way here. Miss Windbags, what's this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. No. 
not to talk about. By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify. She said, that's it. I'm snitching. <laughs> like, it's over. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studio on that day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they had been at the studio that day. But if you're gonna go accusing me, I ain't let them get away scot-free. Nah, ain't going away like this. Miss Oldbags, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Hey, ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. Nope, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Well, let's press further. Who told you to keep quiet? Uh, some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. What other people? Who are these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The, uh, the director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had been meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. Studio 2? There's a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the, gu at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path here, the monkey's head was falling over. Okay. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Uh... Yeah, continue. Nothing to do with that. Don't pretend I had seen stairs. Go through it, you know, but not. Alright. That's what I want to do. So what they want you to do? Well... Mm. Who's the they? Is it the director? Miss Oldbags, this is a trial for murder. I know that's silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. Wow, they paid you? Hmm. I think I've asked all questions. Alright, yeah, we'll take a break. Your Honor, we've learned that there was uh, others at the... We learned... <laughs> we learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producers, and uh, some big wigs, were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledged the defense point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbags, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends today's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Bowers. That is all. This court is adjourned. Damn, she said that's it. I'm becoming a snee I itch. Right? <laughs> October 18th, 104. Alright. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, oh, really? It's nothing. Grin. Oh, or should I... Well, we'll be uh, we'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigation. We have to find out more about the director and pros and for some reason I want to say prosecutor, producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now it's my chance to get material for the cross examination. So Nick, have we figured out just who it was that the steel Sam uh, who was in steel samurai costume? Could it really have been old windbags? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pr 
pressure off of Mr. Powers. Poor old windbags. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, uh, with or without my accusation. Oh, hey! Welcome back! Started the uh, stream pretty, pretty late tonight. Mainly because I had to do take care of some things earlier today. Okay, let's get down to the studio. Right. We'll be back to visit you soon. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Don't worry, Sabretooth. We'll save you. To be continued. Taking a sip of my water. I really should have... I really should have ate something like before this. All right. Do we only have 10 save slots in this game? Oh, wow. All right. Got to be a little bit more mindful about those saves. It means early in the morning? Damn. <laughs> that reminds me. I don't even know what time it is right now. My phone's trying to update for some reason. Oh, there we go. Phew. What a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. So, you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we find... People we found out about today's trial. The director and the producer. Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here, then? Let's go to the studios. What to do? Any ideas? Huh. What do you think we should do? What... What do I... <sighs> what don't we... Fuck. Why don't we do what you just said? We gotta get the scoop on the director and producer. Oh yeah, right. There's no point in hanging around here. That's what I've been saying! Let's get to the studio prompto. Hmm. We don't have enough information to make a case yet. That's exactly the same thing you said yesterday. Just admit it. You don't have a clue what happened. There's not enough information. <laughs> Alright. Let's move on. Back in my day, you could only save in one slot. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> hey man. Why why doesn't every game just have the option to just be like, listen, just save it. Save it to your system. Just do that. Like I like that I like games that incorporate their own save things, but I wanted to use the memory for the from the system. Like just do that. Um where am I going? Main gate? October 18th, 216. Global Studios main gate. No one's here. Right. Now that, now that they have Miss Oldbags in custody, I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey, in the guard station, look, she left her donuts. You fucking, you fucking gremlin. What? I was gonna eat them. Yeah, you were. Go ahead, take it. Take it. Do it. Just take it. I have a feeling at some point I'm going to turn around and she's going to have like three donuts in her hands. Is there anything else to examine in here? Since she's not here. Oh, new things? Cool. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Huh? It looks like it's been turned off for today. Okay. Overhead map of studios. Right from here is the cleaning area. Left for right, actual films. Okay, I don't think anything else is different. So let's head to the employee area. I want to check that vent. October 8th, Global Studios employee area. Uh, it's forced people to buy another copy? Hmm. Yeah, but who buys another copy of a game for more saves? Wouldn't you have to... Wouldn't you have to play the game over? <laughs> look. Uh, look, it's the assistant girl. Look, it's the murderer. Hi, w WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh, hey, look, they patched up the vent. Oh, oh, don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Pokemon fans? I guess. But I mean, Pokemon fans, they buy another copy of the game just to get their Scyther and shit. I don't think it's about, like, having more save data. Because, what's the point in, what's the point of, like... And, like, uh, cycling through your saves in Pokemon, if you, all you're gonna do is, like, all the serious people, if all they're gonna do is just fucking, um, breed and shit. You know what I mean? Get ready for that, that tournament. <laughs> all 
Alright. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh. Ho <laughs> ho Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up the drain. Do you mean that one? Wow. What a mess. I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some... Some assistant, right? Yeah. But you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? Right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Oh. Oh well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Lulbags. Right. See you later, then. Good luck with your investigation. Yeah. I just want to take a look at this. So, the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today. He came in through that drain? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey, Nick. If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah? I think that was the idea. Uh... Yeah, it is kind of goofy that there's only one save in Pokemon games. But I mean, at the same time, most of the time when you play a Pokemon game, you don't really want to redo the shit you do, so I can I can get it, you know? Maybe like two saves would be better, just in case you fucked up on breeding a Pokemon or something, and you can like go back and like redo their EVs or something. Uh, I feel kind of sorry for him though, don't you? What you want to rip the gra uh what you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious. Oh no. Rip it open. Just just yank that shit. I don't want to do that, but there must be evidence in there. Rip it. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. You're just a monster. You're just You're just a monster in like the most shrine mating as clo clothing ever. Like, you look at her and you're like, oh, she's supposed to be like Yuna from Final Fantasy X, where she's like, sorry, my apologies. But she's not. She's just a monster. She eats everything and takes shit and breaks everything. Hiyah! What do you do? Kick it open? There. That should make the kids happy. The things we do. <laughs> it has gotta be something in here, right? The grade is off, and I know who did it. Now the kids will be able to come in again. Does it make you feel great to do a good deed like that? Must be nice to live so free of guilt. Jesus. If someone wants to do a Nuzlocke? But I mean, wouldn't that go against a Nuzlocke, though? Yeah. <laughs> it should be the official game mode. That would be too much. That would be too much. Fucking, you get your ass whooped by the first Pidgey you see. <laughs> uh... I don't want to rant about Pokemon now. We can rant about it all day. Um, but yeah, like having having another save isn't that isn't that against the Nuzlocke? Isn't the point of the Nuzlocke is like once your Pokemon dies, it's over? Uh, there's half finished. Uh, there's a half finished backdrop for the stage here. Looks like a castle. Probably Neo Old Tokyo Castle. Uh, castle. Castle. Anyone eat lunch today? The remains of the other day's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on a plate, minus a steak. Alright. Anything else around here? This bike. Looks like one of those electric-powered bicycles. I don't know about these. I mean, what's the point? It makes it a lot easier to go up hills. Don't people cycle to get exercise? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everything here. Unless I can look at the paint or something. I don't know. Alright, well, let's get a move on. Head in this dressing room. Might be something else in here we missed. Who can do a Pokemon game in one day, though? Um, yeah, but that's why you have the one save slot. For the Nuzlocke. Like, you're not supposed to continuously do a Nuzlocke in one run-through. You do your Nuzlocke, right? And wherever you stop that, you save it and you come back. Just make sure that you get rid of your Pokemon that die. <laughs> this is where the Steel Samurai costume was on the other day of the murder. What kind of... Uh, that's what Mr. Power said, at least. 
I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Power hasn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Uh, she's gotta have a point. Alright, well... We checked in this bag already. We got, uh, stuff. So... Some regular suits among the costumes here. Mr. Power's personal clothing. Anything in the couch cushions? Looks like someone was sleeping here. Need powers. Alright. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. Some tea and cookies. Wait, Nick! What now? These snacks! They passed the expiration date! They don't... Then don't eat them! Mm, they're snacks! They're meant to be eaten! You're a fucking monster. You're just a monster. Mr. Power's bag. I wonder what's inside. Hey! Supermarket tabloids. Wow. I'm kind of shocked. Maya, leave those alone! Wolfman found on Mars. I have to buy that issue. <laughs> there's an array of cosmetics here. According to Maya, there's wig. Some right boogie woogie, Nick. Get with the picture. Look, explain to me how you can identify a show just by seeing the wig. Alright. So it's just the same shit she said yesterday. Alright. Mirror. We also have mirrors. I don't think there's anything new in here. It's locked. I guess he doesn't open his window much. It's kind of dusty outside. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new in here. So let's just head out to the employee area. Uh, studio's main gate. Oh, hello. Oh, ho. You look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of a all alternative guard fashion thing. All right, let's get some information out of you, the fanboy. Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the set or snapping pictures. You should see old windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him though. The studios. So how are you? How are the studios doing? There's police. There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me to disturb evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. You mean those plates with the with the steak bones left over them in the employees area? Yep. Can you believe it? I hear something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here on the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see anything. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So, they were trying to protect the director. More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for the producer. The producer, huh? Alright. Let's get a move on. Let's get to... Here. October 18th, Studio One entrance. Hey Nick! It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So Nick, remember what Studio Two were he- uh, bleh. Remember that Studio Two's we heard in the trial today? It was down the path with the fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Cool. That's where we're headed. October 1. Wow, this looks run down as fuck. This place is deserted. Crash! N Nick! Wh what was that noise? Huh? What was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should just barge in. Huh? It's locked. What? Do we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they let us. It's probably another murder. Why examine? I didn't mean to examine. Move. 
it's weird that they make us fucking have to go from spot to spot like this. I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's like, it's like, why not just let me just go? All you're doing is just cutting away to a different screen. All right. Uh, can I not? Uh, I guess. Can I not ask for a fucking key or something? Um, all right. Guess I'll just head back to uh, the detention center. 18, detention center, visitor's room. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. What's not? So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm. Sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yes. Uh, the director, the fanboy. I love how I'm like, something terrible must have happened in there. Well, time to head all the way to the police center. Alright. Fanboy. Uh, do fanboys sneak in the studios often? No, not that I know of. The security lady's pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say there was often they often hanging around? The kids really, really love to steal samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Was the director present at the morning run through? Yes, yes he was. He was he was directing how the steel samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us before? Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here's a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. When he loses, it's gonna be a big loss. I see. I love how that's her problem with it, not the problem that, um, ahem, someone died. <laughs> you aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. Alright. Let us head back to the main gate. Uh, move. Maybe Studio 1 or Employee Area, we can find like a key or something. What's this? Must be storage room. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we've seen that already. Cool. Alright. Um. Maybe there's a key in the dressing room? What the fuck? Who are you? Who are you dudes? <laughs> what? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. What am I looking at? Uh. We... Wait, you first, who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever. For... F what? I'm not... I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> not this guy. What? Listen. Whatever lingo he's using, right? Yeah, I, know, I can see that it's lamers. I just realized that. But I know there's gonna be more. And I'm fucking... I'm not ready for that. How can you... What the fuck is that even supposed to be? You? Is it just supposed to be you? How do you not know the great Sam... What? The great Sal... Salmonella? Oh my god. Oh. Oh. I feel sick. I mean, the... Oh, the least show... Wait. What? The... Wow. I... Mm. Kill me, please. Jeez. Alright, <laughs> I'll try and read this. The leech shows the Steel Samurai mine RTFC. Read the film critics. Alright. Really? You're the Samnella? <laughs> what? Samnella? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I just. You look so. Oof. Wow. No, no, quite all right, really. It's fine. I'm <laughs> rolling on the floor. What? What is it? You know, on closer inspection. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hot. Oh. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh, what is he doing? Hey, do you do lots of cosplay? Cause that costume. Oh my God. 
No. Rock sores. What? You, hey, you're drooling. Huh? Hmm. Lol. Buffer over. What the fuck? You triggered my creative powers. Yes, yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess. The sequel to The Steel Samurai. Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. What the fuck? What am I looking at? Pink Prison. What? Why does it gotta be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't I have the cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. Oh my god. I mean, listen. Maya does inspire people. She's my spirit animal. But, uh, what the fuck is going on here? Alright. The day of the crime. Did you notice anything unusual of the day of the crime? Day of the murder? I know who you dudes are. The security lady told you about us, huh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. Had a run, had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Did a meeting from lunchtime in Studio 2 trailer. Heh. <laughs> I was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. A T-bone steak, was it? Yeah! So, what? <laughs> I hate missing out on food. Yeah, I bet. My man, keep your tongue to yourself. Oh my fucking god. Fuck. <laughs> Nick. What does, uh, what does suck sores mean? I don't fucking know. Anyways, I was in a meeting from noon till, till after four. With the producer and some bigwits from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30. <laughs> if he tells the truth, that means give him an alibi. Alright. Producer. What about the producer who was at the meeting with you? Oh, you mean... Uh, De Vasquez? She's genuine. Mad skills all the way. Scary, though. Start sweating. She, she broke... Uh, she brought the studio back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon to 4 p.m. the whole time. Who exactly are these bigwigs people keep in mention? Oh! The boss over at the network and some sponsors, also a few productive types. They piled into limousines and get get here right around noon. Major tension. We're we're all of them with uh eh, bah, bah. we're all of them with you with the entire eh, can't speak the entire time. Yeah, unfortunately, they're all great here geezers. Hmm, sounds like they all be reliable witnesses. All right. Uh. I guess that's it. There's nothing else to check in here. Oh. Oh. Are the snacks gonna be gone? There's a bunch of snacks on the table. Must have given these to employees. Hey, Nick! What now? The snacks. There was twice as much here before. I... I ate them. They were past expiration date, anyways. She's biting her lip and staring at me with tears welling in her eyes. Wow. Just freaks! I'm surrounded by fucking freaks! Alright, well, um... Sir, are you aware that I am indeed an attorney? I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me. Why are you staring at me like that? I need a moment. I just... I gotta take a drink of my water. I just... I can't. I can't, man. How old is this guy? By the way, Maya's 17. This is really creepy. I'm out of here. I'm so gone. I'm so fucking gone. I'm out of here. Why are you here? Weren't you locked up? You again. Yeah. How rude acting like you've seen a ghost. Well, I might as well be a fucking ghost. You certainly you certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spear steel a spare steel samurai costume, told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I? A sweet little old lady wearing a giant suit like that. Mr. Powers is pretty tall. 
As soon as they saw, as soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyways, know this, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a, a, slight, a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Hm. This lady's too much. The fanboy? I'm about the kid you say you saw yesterday. If I see him again, I'm talking I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes, she's serious. How about the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder? If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick! I think she's losing it. Alright. <laughs> Madam, maybe this will get you to calm down. I have a feeling she's not going to respond well to anything I show her. Okay. Um so is no one gonna give me a fucking key to like get in that get in that fucking room? Examine? Anything new? No? Okay. Uh I guess we can head back to uh, Studio 2. Examine. Maybe there's a key in here. Light van for moving stuff and equipment around. They kept it pretty good shape. Looks like it's run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if we have a license, that's what you're worried about? Not just, you know, stealing the car? Nick, you don't have a driver's license. But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge? I show it to everyone, jeez. Don't judge me. An incinerator. Apparently they just put this one on. Uh, put, eh, put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. What is with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. What? I don't know. It just feels odd. Is no I love how no one's worried about the noise we heard earlier today. Slide. Still no way to get in. The trailer door, it's locked. The key is probably in security guard station. I doubt they let us borrow it. Eh. Let's look through the window. Closer inspection, this trailer looks like it's been here for a while. I don't think it's part of some... Uh, Temporary film set. Alright. These look like materials for making movie set. They've been sitting here for quite some time. This might as well be a junkyard. Alright. Well, uh... It's probably something I, I missed. Uh... Studio One. October 18th, Studio One. I don't really want to be in here. Yeah, it's a murder scene. I want to go someplace else, Nick. Uh, we still gotta examine some things. Maybe we'll find- Can I open this bag now? No. Ladder. Look, a ladder! It's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural uh, assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry. This girl is out there. Yeah, I know. Fucking monster. They outline where Jack Hammer's body laid with tape. His body was found still inside the evil Mega Straight costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like helmet. Okay, so nothing new here. Alright, he said all that last time. Can I? No? Hey, look! That's your director sits in. I always want to sit in one of these. I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, nothing new. Alright. Backdrop. Looks like the backdrop for a stage. It must be used uh the Steel Samurai show. Of course. That's the mountain Neo Fu oh, wow. Fujiyama. Doesn't the Steel Samurai take place in old Tokyo? Can you even see Mount Fuji from here? Not old Tokyo, Nick. Neo old Tokyo. Alright. Cameras. Wow, look at the camera. Must cost a ton. Alright, nothing new here. Alright, cool. So uh, let's head back to the employee area, if I can do that. Oh, you calm down now? Nope, you're still evil. Alright. 
Who the fuck are you? Hey. Hey, wait. I bet he came in right through the drain. Hey, I'm Kiddio. What's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Huh? But you, you are a kid. What a rude little brat. There's no way, no way to talk to an adult. Maya, you're, you're 17. I don't see no adults here, hippie fashion chick. Hi hippie fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. How dare you make Maya cry. You gotta hand it to you, Maya. She's pretty sharp and pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody H Heckins. <laughs> Call me Kitty O again, and I'll cut you down where you stand. You can't even pull the fucking sword out of its sheath. Your arm isn't long enough, you fucking creep. <laughs> Little short, stubby arms. Alright. Steel Samurai. So you're a fan of Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evil doer? What do you mean? We're the Steel Samurai. We're on the Steel Samurai's side. Ha ha ha! You can't fool me. Okay, then what's the? Uh, just a quick, just a quick aside. Isn't it like illegal to like carry a sword around? I get that it's anime, but like you know. <laughs> okay, then what's then what's with the last? Uh, fuck. Then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode eight? Heh, <laughs> Easy. Like some fries with that? Hmm. Not bad, Kiddio. Watch it. What are they doing? Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? <laughs> huh? Heh. <laughs> he... He always... The Steel Samurai always wins. Always! Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But... But no way I'm telling you losers. What? Wait. Let me go. He's gone. Huh. Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why was that sitting there, I wonder? Empty bottle. It says sleeping pills. Someone drugged him? Anyways, what was that, uh, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. Hmm. Alright, well. The drain where the fanboy came in. He didn't waste any time coming in either. Talk about cause and effect. Good thing we bust that shit open, huh? Alright, well, slide. Nothing about the door. Still can't see in here. The glass is frosted. Yeah, alright. Well, let us move back into the dressing room. Anything new? No. Alright, well, let's head to the security lady and tell her that we saw the kid. Huh? Where's that old windbag? Out of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick! That was her! Stop! Whippersnapper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch! Huh? She tripped? Maya sure looks happy. <laughs> what? Wow. Everyone's just an asshole. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Well, let's sneak in there and grab a key. Hey, hey, Nick. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh. This is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to the trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? That's the first time she said borrowing instead of taking. Alright. Finally, we can... We can see what was so, what was so important in there. There's probably a dead body in there. Entered rigor mortis already. Examine. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great. Let's go in, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. I'm not that eager. Wow. Thank, thanks for letting me be the first one to get stabbed. October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. And who in the fuck are you? I don't know if you're cool or if you're weird. Eek. Someone's in here. Names. 
our, our names? Um, we're WP's lawyers, and, um, I see. And, who might you be? Dee Vasquez, the producer. Dee Vasquez, she's quite beautiful. Alright, well, you seem pretty calm for, for someone who was just, like, involved in what sounded like a fight, but, okay. Sorry, I gotta take a drink of my water. My throat is killing me. I was wondering if you can tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Fax- Miss Vasquez? Script. Excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A script? The Steel Samurai Episode 13. I need it. Um, can we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. Alright, Steel Samurai. Um, really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss Vasquez? It's on TV, every week. That's all I have to say about it. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV, the nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. About the director, Salmonella, was it? What, uh, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick? Are all people in the entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Yeah. Wait. Yes? If you see him, if you see him Manila, give him this. Why, why do we have to be your, why do we gotta do your errands? Have you finished those errands? 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 Have you finished those errands? I don't think I like her. <laughs> I don't, don't cry. She'll take, uh, she'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright, I'll give it to him if we see him. Alright, it's just a memo that says bring, big ass piece of paper just to say, hey, bring me the script. Alright. But before we leave, are you aware that I am an attorney? I'm not interested. Wow. Straight to the point. My fucking ego, man. Okay. So we'll just go run those errands real quick. Main gate. Side Studio 1. I keep forgetting that the employee's area is not inside the gate. Alright. There you go. Here. I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13. Episode 13? Where'd I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Uh-oh. My ass is pwned if I don't find it. Nick. It might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. I know a place where he could possibly have been. I know just the place. I have a, I have a strong suspicion about this. Uh, there you go. Is it that bag? I want to be- I want to check that bag. Is it that bag? We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need to get out of here. Is it in this bag? Damn it! Is it in here? Hey, look! That's your director sits in. The director? Maya. Take a look around the chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Denny said he left it somewhere? Aha! Uh -huh. Found it, Nick. The script. Good work. Cool. Well, that was easy. I find it weird that there's a giant bag there and we can't even check it, but okay. Whatever. I didn't make the game. I don't know why I'm examining shit. There we go. Trailer. Here you go. Here, yeah, we found it. Your script. Uh. Script handed to D. Vasquez. Um, uh... You're not going to talk to us? Quiet. 
I'm reading. Just hold on, what's the big idea? Who do you think you are anyways? And, and do you even know who you, who we are? Powers of Lawyers? Um, right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just, well no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder? Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know, there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? Why did why did it bring up that? Okay. Well tell me about the path. On the day of the murder, the path that led here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head? Oh, right. That. What an original name. Its head fell over and the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after 3. It was after 4 by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in the trailer. Stuck until 4. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. What? It's true. A crane came just after three to move the head. We called some people in the clear. Uh, called some people to clear the way. I'm sure they collaborate my story. Collaborate. Is that the right word? That's the right word, right? But wait. If it's the head fell. Uh, if the head fell over at two thirty, then you could have gone to Studio One. Two thirty. The time of death. Very well. Come. That Mr. Monkey? When it was broken, it announced the time in ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, ook, ook. Always with the ooking. It is, <laughs> it is a monkey after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. A fucking... This is the third trial and we're still dealing with fucking clocks. God damn it. <laughs> Nick, it stopped. Not just clocks, a statue that is still a clock. What the fuck? What is with this game? Nick, it stopped at 12.15. I mean, 12. 2.15. 2.15. That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died instead. Alright, you're innocent, I get it. But let's just have the possibility that, I don't know, someone decided to just walk around it. You know? It's only trees in the way. It's not like what is it, Pokemon? Did your did your Pokemon not know the fucking move cut? See, goodbye. Okay. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. I guess. There we go. That kid knows something, though. If we can get a hold of that kid, we can find some vital clues. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. Watertight. What? Wouldn't that be, like, very loose? What? <laughs> we don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for you to be giving up, don't you think? Huh? You got one lead. Hey, Mia, you're back! It's you! Man, even death couldn't stop you. What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Might have trouble calling Mia unless she really is in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What does you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, by the way, wait, question, so it's like, it like, <laughs> is Mia just like a transformation state she has now? Fucking, whenever you're in trouble, you just go Super Saiyan? You got all the answers to everything? But, but no way I'm telling you losers. I don't know. 
He didn't sound like he was going to help us until, I mean, until help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way to bring him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studio. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. Thanks. I'm not more worried than I was before. Talk to me. So, what's the best thing to do from here? We need to get to the studio and talk to that boy. Any ideas? So do you have any ideas who might have done this? We don't have enough information to make case yet. Where have I heard that phrase before? So that's where Maya got it from. Hey Mia, I'm not sure if I ever had the chance to show you this. I'm an attorney. Show me that isn't going to do any good. You know what they say, dead men don't tell tales. You sure are talking, uh, Wow, yeah, exactly, you're one to fucking talk. Jesus. Alright, to the main gate. October 18, Global Studios, main gate. Huh. 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 Wow. Catch your breath, lady. Too old to be doing this shit. What's wrong? Wh Whippersnapper? She's been chasing that boy this whole time. When I catch him, I... Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I got a hostage now, Whipper Snapper. A hostage? Hostage? I'm sad about a hostage. When that boy was running away, he dropped this and ran. He'll come back for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might take... Cody must... Eh. Cody might talk to us if we give it to him. Good idea, Miss Old Bags. I, I might... No. I'm catching that breath if it's the... Breath? I'm catching that breath if it's the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? Trade? Hmm. I wonder. I got an idea! Yeah, I have a, I have a great idea. Employee area. Oh, you're here! Hey, you. Wait a second. Phoenix? Was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Heckins. I I think he ran into the dressing room. Alright. I have no idea how Mr. Crazy in there is going to react when he sees Mia. And it might be the first time someone realizes that the tiny girl has transformed into a full-grown adult. October 18th, Global Studios, dressing room. He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you. Damn it, he's getting away. Come back. There, he's back. How does she? Hey there, would you mind helping us out, please? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia, Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo. Seems like a little boy's got a crush here. And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who's that? <laughs> Who asked? Wow. Phoenix, can you take it from here? I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Alright, well, first thing I want to do is it possible to grab like a donut. Ah, uh, some snacks and cans of soda. They're all empty. I'm glad Maya isn't here. See this? She'd be devastated. Sorry. What was it about, Maya? Oh, no, nothing. <laughs> Alright. I was hoping that we can yank some snacks and just give it to the security lady. Alright, Steel Samurai. Steel Samurai's so cool. I think he's the, uh, the bomb. Huh. <laughs> what would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? Hey, watch the attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. Yeah, fucking... Put his fucking teeth on the curb. That's what I'll do. So, <laughs> that was so violent of a response. So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. I know nothing. Hmm, looks like a little persuasion necessary. Maybe a bribe. Okay. We still need to get something. Alright. Head to employee area. Maybe... Oh, didn't mean to press move. Maybe I can get something from the snack machine? Let's see. 
Cola candy. Huh? It's so normal. Look at this. Spaghetti in a soda can. Sp- What? What the fuck? Wouldn't just the sauce come out and the noodles all stay inside? Best when slammed. I guess that's what you do to drink it in one gulp. Slamming spaghetti? Right. Slurping noodles down your throat like that. Okay. I need to find something to, uh... To bribe him. But also to give to the lady. Oh! I can give her back the key! Ta-da! Be like, hey, you want this key? You'll lose your job. Miss Old Bags, I'm borrowing this, just so you know. Oh, okay. Just be sure to give it back. She's not as demanding when she's exhausted. Wow! Really? Okay. Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? Uh, my heart. I don't feel so good. Is she okay? Before I go, I like to visit the place where poor Hammer died. Right. She was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. Hmm. What happened to the boy? If I see him again, I'll lay him flat. My, what a violent old lady. Okay. Maybe I can give her the key card? I would assume she would have her own key card, though. Hey, that's... That's a card. Studio One? Right. A key card. Studio One. I could visit poor Hammer. I like to visit. He died. I was his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Old Bags? Studio One isn't my turf. You'll let me borrow? Borrow it, then? If I give her the key card, then I won't be able to get to Studio One. Uh, I'll lend it to her. There's really nothing else in there for me. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Old Bags. Car key has been lent to her. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having depths and no whippersnapper. You take this and we're even deal. What's this? A Steel Samurai trading card. That sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. Cool. Right. I'm off. There she goes, hobbling towards the studio. Fucking hobbling her way. Waddling like a fucking penguin. Alright, kid. Are you aware that I'm an attorney? What's that? Boring. Man, how can one person be so lame? If you were a superhero, you'd be Mr. La what, you'd be lame -o man Wow, go fuck yourself. Cody, this looks familiar. Hey! My year- You are. What? You are, huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. Alright. Real talk. Real talk moment right now. Who the fuck calls ultra rares you are's? That can't be a real thing. Like, really? Fucking... Come on. It's abbreviations for everything. Uh, car really hard to get. Man, for a grown-up, you're so dumb. I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card. My off- uh, by offering me something I already own, <laughs> you're in effect. Eschewing the very best- oh, wow. The very basis of our, our customer- what? Consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you're really dumb. What do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever. I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. Huh? After I want, after what I went through. God damn it! Son of a bitch. If you want to trade, find me a real rare card. Really rare? You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on, man! For a grown up, you sure are dumb. Premium rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about stakes? What the fuck is with everyone in stakes here? Alright, well, the only person I can think of who would have something like that, or two people, is, uh, the assistant and the weirdo. So let's go look for the weirdo. Detention center. Uh, 
atmosphere. I do not have access to Studio One no more. October 18th, Studio Two trailer. Oh, there you are. Oh, hiya. Hello. What brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Her name's Penny. When did she say her name was Penny? I don't think we ever actually got her to say her name before. Um, yes? The, uh, girl with you. Doesn't she seem a little different? Fucking thank the Lord someone noticed. God damn it. Like, is she even the same person as before? Uh, no. She's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. <laughs> whatever floats your boat. Have you seen the boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing uh, around after the boy so fast that I thought she collapsed. Of course, he got away in the end. But she was mad. <laughs> Actually, we saw them. How, how the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fists back at the guard station. Ugh, that... Ugh, that's unsanitary. I don't like that. <laughs> Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes, it's really a terrible loss for the studio. But its popularity had been, had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? You mean you don't know about Hammer? Know what? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. No, no, please say it. Please, murder happened. We need to get to the bottom of this. Wait, now did you tell me what happened with Hammer? I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Oh, oh. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Okay. Hey, check this out. Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel, uh, steel Samurai trading card. I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Um, I don't care what kind of girl you think I am, I need that card. Please, I beg you, please trade with me. Trade with you? Yes, trade cards. Look, I even trade you an Ultra Rare Premium card. Trade me, huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your Ultra Rare. Please? Phoenix! Can't you see she's desperate? Yeah, I mean, that's not a good thing, though. What, uh, what's everyone getting so excited about? There you go. Take it. Okay. Really? Thanks. Then this is for you. Ultra Rare Premium Steel Samurai Collectible Card. Very valuable. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't look good. Uh, doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah, it does. Well, we got what we needed. Let's move out. Studio One. Doo -doo. It's really annoying that I gotta go through all of this shit. Here you go. See this card? Yeah, so wait. That's it. That's the last ultra rare premium card I need. Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Wow, I've never seen him so eager. Right, okay. How about a trade? You're on. I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 no. That's not the kind of trade I want. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. Ultra rare premium card gifts Cody. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we have him, eh, we'll have him take the stand tomorrow. Alright. Now talk. The Steel Samurai, what happened? Tell me what happened. You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody. Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to find us, uh, you have to help us fight for great justice too. I saw. I saw everything. I'm snitching. Well, 
You might get some useful information out of him yet. Well, tell me. So, you like to steal samurai? Yeah, he's so cool. I... I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions, at his... at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler. You like him too, don't you? Uh, oh me? Yeah, I uh, love the Steel Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. His fighting skills. Willpower's acting. Uh, his nature? Right. Come on, think of something. I really like his, um, kind nature. What a guy. Totally. He looks so tough, but inside he's a gentle as a kitten. Yeah. So, what else you like about him? Don't tell me I have to keep this sacked up. Uh, his fighting skills. Gotta think of something. I think it's, uh, I think it's when he, uh, vanquishes his foes. Yeah! The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out. It's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I got every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat the crap out of each other in public? I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. Where the fuck are your parents? You're just all over the place, kid. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I just got it for my birthday. My album has the name. Wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with the digital camera. I got all the data at home so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept you. Thank you. There you go. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around 2. I had to come in through the woods out back so the old lady wouldn't see me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're like, uh, fucking, fucking statue got in our way. And meanwhile, the kid's like, I'm going through vents, I'm going through trees, I'm going through woods, hopping fences, acting like people can't do that shit. I got kind of lost, though. I was in there for maybe a half hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? It's the Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. Oh, look at him. He used his samurai spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I see. You must have been hard, it must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Huh? Right. Mia? Yes. I think we can say for sure that means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So the only person left who could be be Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, shit. Aw, oh, no. Oh, we're fucked. I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness. And now he's gonna snitch to Edgeworth. Edgeworth. Fucking mother... Fucking dick gumshoe. Gotta drink my water. Stay hydrated, you know? And is under and he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. What? Well, that didn't go so well. You're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. What are we gonna do, Mia? Well, um I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, hold up. Come on, come to the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Yeah? Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. 
you know, for someone who's supposed to be dead, death really has no bearings on her whatsoever. God, that was, uh, that was viciously long. I was, I was pretty optimistic. I was like, maybe we can do two chapters today. No, the fuck we can't. <laughs> All right. October 19th, 9.42 a.m., District Court, Defense Lobby Number 1. Well? Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look so unhappy? Oh. Oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix? Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. Wow! That's a... That's a one way to put it, Mia. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Yeah, like the sleeping pills we have. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix, today. Is that or we lose the trial? This isn't going to be easy. Alright. October 19th, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number four. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edwards, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving that none other... Uh, what? That had nothing to do with the murder. Wow. Farewell. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder who will be the producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Sam Salmonella to the stand. Or the director. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me. I'm the director. I make the steel samurai. Noob, rolling off the floor. Damn. S Sam Nella. I'm a director. Television. Were you at the Were you at the Global Studios on the day of the murder? N yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the tra someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. She doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. All right. I was at the studio from around nine that morning. During the morning, I was doing um, an action scene run through. It took a lot. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in the studio with two trailers, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30pm, and according to your testimony, you were in the meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. All right. All right. Right off the bat, let's get that save going. All right. Come on. There we go. All right. All right. Morning at nine. During the morning, I was in action. So you run through. It took a lot more time than you thought. How much time? Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you already heard about this, but WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? Alright, thus the limp. Which is, of course, led me to missing my lunch. Rolling on the floor, starving? I heard that everyone ate lunch around... Okay, you heard that. Are you sure about it? What exactly did they have for lunch? T-bone steak. The assistant cooks some up. Keep that fucking nasty tongue of yours in your mouth. Come to think of it, there's plates with some bones on it in the area. 
Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. All right. Had a meeting, Studio 2 trailer, ended up skipping lunch. We meeting until 4. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. Are you pretty sure? You didn't take a single break? Uh, well... Yeah, not a one. Hmm. What's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. No way for one to come up and hit him with it later. Phoenix! If his alibi holds powers, it's finished. Press him as hard as you can to find information about where he's lying. Right. Okay. At the studio from around 9 that morning. In the employees area? That's right. It was a fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Megastrate. Well, was everyone, was everyone else at the run-through? Oh yeah, that security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. She was tearing on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. Took a lot more time than I thought it would. Alright. Is that when you always come and work? Oh, oh no. I come in at sort of all hours. It's the industry way. Yeah, I know all about the freaks in your industry. Still, fit what? FWIW. I was pretty busy all that way. What the fuck? I don't even know what that means. Tell us more about that. Alright. Okay. So, what evidence do we have here? The cause of death, photo. Guide, murder weapon, sleeping pills. Mm. Contains photos of every victory scene, battle won by the Steel Samurai. Alright. A lot of crime between two. Alright. Hmm. Everyone else at lunch. Uh, had a meeting since you, so I ended up skipping lunch. Let's press that. So, in the end, you didn't get to eat? Yep. No stakes, at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix? Yeah. Doesn't sound something... Doesn't... Eh. Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Uh, it's a little vague, I guess. Actually, there's something bothering me. Mr. Manella, just now you said steak, at least. So, you ate something other than steak? Oh, uh, yeah, good call. I had some chocolate in my pocket, which I used to uh, start... Stave off starvation. I see. Is that all? I'm sure there's something in there. Okay. Let's do that again. Maybe there's something else in there. Hmm. Is it a contradictory? Let's see. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella? Bleh. Manuel? Man whatever? Fuck. Uh, what do you want with me? When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates. The same plate, same kind of plate as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? Huh! <sighs> no, um, uh, good call. I, uh, was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat after all. A T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clear a man who likes to eat. I expect as much. So, when exactly did you eat? We took one break during the meeting. I wolfed it down, then... Wow. Mental image I'll carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in the meeting, that contradicts his testimony. I'll press on that one a bit more. Alright. No one left their chairs. There's nothing like to use as evidence for that, right? So that... Okay, guess I'll press on that then. You didn't take a single break. Uh, well... Yeah, not a one. Hmm. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. See, there we go. Wait a second. 
Mr. Oh, God, I'm like, why? I always draw a blank when I see the name. Mr. Manella, you just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate the T-bone steak during the break? Oops, rolling on the floor. Well, um, Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, you see, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job. If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studios during that time. Your Honor, I call, I call on the witness to testify to the court about their break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Uh, hey. <laughs> Uh-oh, Edgeworth is laughing. You activated my trap card. Yeah, we took a break. But it was only 15 minutes. 15. That one, that's only 13 in base 2. Wait, wait, what? My bad. That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio 1. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak, if you ask me. Hmm. I don't think it would have been... Uh, I don't think it would have been enough time, but that's just me. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Alright. Something in there I have to press on. But only 15 minutes. Time for someone... Alright. Press on that. What are you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak. What else? There were two plates on the table. Oh, right. The other one was, uh... Was Diva's... Sorry. D... D. Vasquez plate. D. Vasquez, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. Okay. Only enough time to eat T-bone steak if you ask me. What else would it be enough time to do? I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. Well, I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I, even if I had to take my time eating that kind of food. Well, Phoenix, that test money was too short to... Alright. Well, all you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Oh, great. That's all? Hmm. All right, only 15 minutes. It's not enough time for someone to commit murder. All right, what do we have here? Block the path to the scene of the crime between 12 and 10, 10. I think this is what I'm going to use. Nope. All right. Because my, my thought process on that was, hey, if everyone was there, if everyone was there for uh, 15 minutes, well, if they had a 15 minute break, and then at 2.15 everyone was blocked in there till 4, that means someone would have left before it got blocked, right? And made it back in time. Maybe I'll use it on a different statement. Let me just save, because I'm going to fuck it up. I feel like I'm going to fuck it up. See. 2 p.m. Murder weapon. Uh, shooting a crime between. Um. Yeah, I still want to use the statue. No. Huh. Took a break. Not enough time to commit murder. It's just only enough time to eat the most stick if you ask me. It has to be this fucking statue. It has to. Alright, I'll press further, just to get a little bit more. Why is that? It's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. Wait, 
Was that it for the press? Hold up. Oh, okay, yeah, it just instantly goes. Alright, cool. Damn. What time exactly do you take the break? Um, I said it was around 2.30 or so until 2.45. Okay. 2.30. That's the time of death. Could have gone to the Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible, time-wise. So... I guess I will use the autopsy for one of these. I'm sorry, let me just get that one more time. I just want to see what Phoenix said one more time. 30. Best time to die. Okay. So they start their break at 2.30. The picture we have is for 2 o'clock, so that wouldn't match up. Um... So... 2.15... So that wouldn't work either. I guess I'll just... Now my question is just... Just what, um... What statement am I hitting them with the evidence with? I'm gonna try this statement in the autopsy report. Nope. Alright. 15, 30. Not enough time for someone to commit murder. Yeah, no. That's my second game over. <laughs> Alright. That one actually stumped me. He is guilty. Sadly. Let's get that back. Not enough time for someone to commit murder. Not enough time to make a mistake if you ask me. He said they started at 2.30. Um, what did I use it on? What statement did I use it on last time? Did I use it on this one? No. This one is so, like, it's so thin. You know what I mean? There's just a lot of vagueness here for me. Alright, I give up. I lost. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Mia, you gotta have something for me. That testimony's too short. Bring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Alright. Maybe I can do what I did before and, like, get the information from the other press to use it. Let's see. That's say, look like guy, da da da. Uh -huh. 
shit. You need my two bone steak, what else? There are two plates on the table. Alright, the other one belongs to D Vasquez. D Vasquez, the producer. TD Von Tick. Okay. So that statement has something. This statement had the other thing. Alright. This is the part where I fucking just go on a limp. Guys, help me out here. <laughs> I'm... I got nothing. I really got nothing. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. I guess it's possible, time-wise. Guys, help me out here. I need your help. Share me your energy. So we can do the Spirit Bomb. Mr. Monkey Head. 15. That wouldn't work. Photo number two. So these two are the only things. Not a time for someone to commit murder. Damn. Guys, help me out here, please. I need help. Someone, please, just tell me the answer. I give up. Damn it. I'm stumped. us out just to show that you can fucking like walk through there in time let's present with the map nope I'm just fucking it up today Someone to commit murder. What the hell? All right. Let me think about this one. Murder weapon. Sleep pills. Blocked path. Time of murder. Thirty. Present him with the plates on the ones. Wait, what? But I think you need to present him with the plates as the ones in Studio 2 has no bones. Present them with the plates. But the plates aren't part of my fucking, uh, of my evidence. What do you mean present them with the plates? Fucking, because I, I pressed everything. I believe I pressed everything. And I thought I can do what I did before, which is press something and then use that information to press again further on, but I can't do that, it seems. Like, there's something here that I have to prove that he's able to, like, make the trip. Or that someone's able to make the trip. And I would assume that I would use the monkey head, right? He said he took the break at 
230 all the way to like 245, so okay, monkey head probably wouldn't help with that. The map shows the layout. I think what I can do is not enough time for someone to commit murder. I think I can use the photo, which is at 2 o'clock, because the time of death is at 2.30. So 30 minutes is enough to commit a murder. So I'm going to try that. I don't... I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I'm just... I'm really at a loss on this one. Shit. Can't believe this guy had everybody got my fucking number on this fucking case. That guy. Give us a vague-ass testimony. not enough time, commit murder. That's only enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. <laughs> if you remember, you'll let me know. Shit. Alright, well, for the sake of the playthrough, I didn't want to do this, but I guess I have to do this. I'm gonna just look it up. I'll take the L on this one. I'll admit defeat. Right? So give me a second. Oh, shit. What's this man's name? Press his first statement, you'll get that information. Press his third statement, Ezra will stop you and tell the court it was impossible. What? Not enough time for someone to commit murder. Only 15 minutes. Did I press this shit? Why is that? Yeah, and it just goes there. So, is there an order that I have to press them in? I don't just retain the information. All right, hold up. Let's see. So we get this information, right? Let's see, Edgeworth gets a little gets a little uppity, and this is his third statement. So you press that. Why is that? Objection. That's ridiculous! See, I was gonna take the L on this one, but now I'm not taking the L on this one. That's fucking stupid. What? I'm loving this game, but real talk, that's ridiculous. You gotta do it in a certain order. Also, it wouldn't be as ridiculous if they explained the mechanic, right? Because the first time he does it, you just retain the information and you spit it back at him. But they didn't ex they didn't explain to you that you can press further upon another press. There's no tutorial for that. And now you have to do it in a certain order? That's fucking I'm not taking the L on that one. That's not my fault. That's not my fault. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony is to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to the Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? Claim it and claim it loud. Hmm. Mm. 
I'm I want to claim it but I'm gonna say it's impossible no it's impossible I don't want to write off any possibility suspects but I can't keep claiming the impossible either I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio at that time <laughs> I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer uh, meeting came right at the death, time of death. However, the path from there, scene of crime was blocked. The fallen Mr. Monkeyhead barred the way. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio's mascot head. Ergo... When the people in the trailer took break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Miss... by Mrs. Monkey? Mrs. Monkey severed head. It's a female? Mm. That's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. Okay, I was confused. I'm like, it's a female? Yeah, it's a bit frustrating. I truly did apologize. Really didn't mean to jump ahead. No, it's okay. Like... It's alright. I mean... Nothing. Nothing too crazy about it. And somehow I feel no desire to correct them. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. Please, get him the fuck out of here. Him and his bullshit testimony. What? It's over. Very well. The court's opinion on the case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in the studios, uh, in the studio too, on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio One. They therefore have no relation to the case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers would have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty, Your Honor. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we have indeed decisive evidence, a witness. A witness? They're bringing the kid to the stand. Who's his witness, Mr. Edgeworth? My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Order. I will have order. I see. The court will take 10 minute recess, after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. Like, what just happened in that case? It wouldn't be as ridiculous if they just explained that mechanic. I thought Phoenix just retains all information from the presses, but you gotta do it in the order. That's weird. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. But Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you'll give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have done... I could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that, but I was wrong. That's all there is. Um, uh, what's gonna happen to me? You're gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. You're dead. Your head's on a platter now. This kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. Well, you did. <laughs> they think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you were innocent, we'll prove it. I guarantee it. I'm telling you, it's the assistant. She's the murderer. Leave it to us, and be and be yourself, be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, here with the children everywhere, after all. Aye. You. Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Do it for the kids! October 19th, 11.15 15th AM, District Court, courtroom number four. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of Tinder. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's like, can you really bring a kid as a witness on a murder case? Uh, and this is a mature case. We wonder, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma to the. Wow, go fuck yourself. A nice to see Edgeworth's talk and taking the moral high ground. There's like a little moth in my room. This is what happens when you have a, a window unit AC, right? You get, you're guaranteed to get something in your room every day. However, we have no choice. 
The prosecution calls Cody Heckins to the stand. <laughs> Fucking, oh my god. Wow. Perhaps you can arrange a box for him to stand on? Oh, yeah, right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates should do. Donuts. I love how you let him walk in court with a sword. Well, the witness states his name and grade in school. Witness! What? Just cause you're all grown up, don't tell me you can don't mean you can push me around. Ugh. Cody. Answer his questions, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. I'm Cody Heckins. I'm in second grade. I get the feeling this is gonna be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Yeah, I love how this guy is just like fucking He's like He's like, I'm afraid that the defense will cause mental trauma to him. Meanwhile, he's already snapping at him. And Mia, who's on the fucking defense side, she's in there going, Don't worry, sweetie. Take your time. Witness. Uh, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with the gentle thing. Uh, you were present. Uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the incident. You got a problem with that? Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you that Graham's with the beard over there? Just me- just Mr. Edgeworth. I prefer- wait, what? That went by too fast, guys. This is why- this is why you need a log button for your visual novels. A very long day. Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in the courtroom. <clears throat> My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I like special permission, if that's possible. Wait, so you're saying you had to bargain terms with a kid and you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how, he, how to use it. All that, all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had the camera on the day of the murder. You better make note of it in any courtroom. Any court records. There you go. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. Alright, Cody. Don't give me some bullshit. I wanted to see the Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studio. Went to the studio that day. I went through the woods off the path so the old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though. About 30 minutes. When I came across the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. Totally rocked. Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. If I had my camera with me, I would have been would have been time for a shot, I tell you. Anyways, I wouldn't get into the studio, so I went home. I love how this kid <laughs> Phoenix has apparently never bargained with the kid. Yeah. He did bargain with the kid earlier. He didn't lose that well technically I guess he did lose if Mia wasn't there, but whatever. Um I just love how this kid's like, yeah, a murder. I'm so excited. Like, damn. Very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. You sure about that? This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. For real. And I love how they're like, they're like, listen. Cameras are strictly forbidden in the courtroom. But uh, he can have the sword, you know, fuck it. Like, what? I wanted to see Steel Samurai rehearsal just once. Okay. All right, so what we got here. Also, because I don't want to go through that bullshit no more. All right, went to the studio that day. Went through the woods, off the pad. I had to yawn. There we go. I was going for the studio. Kind of lost my way though for about thirty minutes. When I came out of the studio, samurai, totally rock right before my eyes came out the bad guy. What bad guy? What sort of bad guy was it? A guy, a person, kinda tall, skinny. Are you sure it was a guy? I don't know, he was kinda far away. Hmm, he's being awfully vague. Of course, Steel Samurai took him down. Had my camera with me, would have been time for a shot. If you had your camera with you, you mean you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't. 
It's not like I have it all the time. Really? I guess seeing the killing freaking him out went home. Phoenix? Remember, he's a child. Using gentle words, but be firm. He's for you to say. Found a map on the internet. What was the day first time you've been to the studio? Actually, I've been there a couple of times. Never managed to get there on rehearsal day. And the security lady's always yelling. Right, right. Please continue. Chill, Pops. I'm getting to it. How am I supposed to talk with you cutting me off all the time? Damn, Edgeworth. Put you in your spot. <laughs> Kid always fucking trying to pull out that sword. Alright, went through the woods. The lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. Got kind of lost on the way. About 30 minutes. Got lost in the woods? Yep. Couldn't figure which way I was walking. Man, I relieved when I saw the blue studio doors. But guess what happened next? When I came out the studio, st there was still Samurai. Totally rock. for my eyes came out the bad guy. Alright. Just want to make sure. New digital camera. Cody always carries it with it. Oh, he's still learning how to use it. Of course, Steel Samurai took him down. If I had my camera with me. Wouldn't that contradict what he literally just said? Yeah, he said he literally just said he carries it around with him. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always carry your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Who's this guy? Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Mr. Wright, a word with you? Oh shit. I'm putting the pressure on him too much. What is this digital camera contraption you- Oh my god. He's like, digital camera? Don't we still use film? It's uh, a digital camera, your honor. It's kind of new sort of camera. Even for like 2000, this came out like 2001, right? Even for 2001, digital cameras weren't that new. I had a fucking digital camera in 2001. Was it? I'm really trying to think. They weren't that new, were they? How do I explain that? I see. Anyways, Cody, I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Uh, I'm trying. Mr. Wright, how cool are you to terrorize this poor child so? I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. <laughs> no one in the court should lie. What do you mean, or prosecuting attorney? Well, Cody? What? what Yeah? So I had my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? Is he trying to kill me? So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I was too busy watching. Hmm. Very well. Please that's fine in court about... Uh, what you was busy watching. What do you mean why I would you use it? You literally just gave me a scrapbook of every time you took a snapshot. During the fights. You lying bitch. Had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off of it. The Steel Samurai, he goes for the bad guys. Wham. Then the bad guys stop moving. He's so strong, Steel Samurai rules. Yes, the court has officially recognized that the Steel Ra Samurai does indeed rule. Ah, uh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. I would like for you to explain more about this bad guy. Had my camera with me, but I glued to the action, couldn't take my eyes off of it. Steel Samurai, he goes for bad guys. For the bad guy, alright. Can you please explain who the bad guy is? So this bad guy attacked him first? Yeah. What sort of person was this bad guy? I told you, a person, he was a person. How was he dressed? I kind of don't remember. Bullshit! I was too busy watching Steel Samurai. I see. And what happened next? Alright. Then the bad guy stopped moving. Steel Samurai goes... Okay, wait a minute. Did he like... Is this still happen on the path? Or did it happen in the studio? I'm assuming it happened... I'm assuming we're in the studio now. But they haven't addressed that they went inside the studio yet. I'm gonna press that. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? 
Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How'd he do it? With a samurai kick and a samurai punch, and a samurai chop and a samurai slap. Something like that. He's still being vague about this. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Press him harder. Wait and see what happens. I'm gonna wait. Yeah. If I press too hard now, the judge might keep me from continuing. I'll sit back and see how the rest of this goes. So strong, he rules. Something about this count? Phoenix? Does this seem right? Okay, I guess I'll press him harder on it then. Go for bad guys. Wham. Stop moving. Alright. Because if they're not in the studio and he said the Steel Samurai fought someone not in the studio, then it can't be the fucking... can't be Hammer, right? Press harder. Cody. What? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? So what? Yet you missed the important part. Objection! What's the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. I'm trying to You know, as well as I do, that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? Huh? My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fights. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Oh, how's the case going? Um, when, when fucking Salmonella was on the fucking stage and he gave his vague ass testimony, instead of Phoenix Wright retaining all the information that he had from pressing, you had to do it in a certain order, which the game does not explain to you. So I fucking got two game overs because of that shit. But other than that, case is going fairly smoothly. Order, order, Mr. Wright. How could this be? Can you explain how you might have missed something so vital? Well, uh, that's the thing. Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think. Why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer? We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? He couldn't watch it. He was watching something else. Show evidence. Uh, I want to save this. Let's not, let's not fuck this up, right? Okay. Let's see, why wouldn't he watch Climax of the Fox? He couldn't watch it. He was too scared. Because he couldn't watch it. How could he, how could he calmly watch a murder taking place at his age? I'm trying Just a moment, please. One thing has become quite clear in this boy's testimony. He did not believe he was witnessing a murder. He was watching the Steel Samurai fight, like on TV. The more real the fight, the more he would have watched. Um, okay. I have to agree with that. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have another explanation? Okay. Well then... He was looking at something else. He missed the climax of the fight because he was looking at something else. Probably. Probably. Something else. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. What could possibly distract the boy from seeing his idol the Steel Samurai fights? What do you claim he was looking for? Ugh. Come on, think of something. Think of something. Nothing? Yes, sorry, Your Honor. Alright, well, show evidence, I guess. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did Cody look away from the fight? Uh... Because this? Maybe? Because fucking the monkey head was fallen? Let's do the monkey head. Is it a hard one? Here's my proof. Proof? Um, uh... Can I do that again? Doesn't prove shit. Show evidence. 
I love how I'm taking no damage for this whatsoever. Uh, let's see, murder weapon, mend it, pills, continue photos of every victory scene, battle. Maybe he was looking at the scrapbook, I guess? Or his camera? Oh, he doesn't know how to use the camera, so he's probably fucking around with it. Here's my proof. What's that? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. Yes, I'm aware of that. He wasn't entirely familiar with the operation. I'm aware of that too. Huh. Correct. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at a critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Huh. Bullseye. What? What's your problem, Pops? You got things for picking on little kids? Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was nowhere he could stand there. Just watching his hero. And not taking a picture. Right. Cody? There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But you haven't just received your camera, so you weren't you weren't used to using it yet. So, you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix, I bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Have him testify again. Right. Me it means business. Your Honor, the defense would like to request Cody Heckins testify one more time. Very well. Cody? Could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take the picture of the fight? Hmm. Welcome to the real world, kid. Oh, now you're crying. Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens went open in time, so I missed it. That's all. That's what happened. Hmm. Anything strange in that testimony, right? I'm not sure. But I'd like to proceed with cross-examination anyways. Alright. You're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai just escaped from the clutches of the villain. What do you mean, escaped? Explain. So, did you see the beginning of the fight? Yeah. Did you notice anything unusual? Um, well, uh... I guess Steel Samurai was moving a little strange. Moving? Strangely. So I held my camera to take a picture. The lens went open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Is that all that happened? That's all? Yeah, I told you, didn't I? Take a picture. Hmm, I would have once... Uh, eh. I would have once I gotten the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even once? I'm pressing harder on that. Nah, definitely wouldn't have taken a picture. It's gotta be something here I can use. Cody. Listen up, Cody Heckins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Huh? Bullseye. How, how'd you know? I see through all the lies, Cody Heckins. It's one of my powers. W wow. This feels great. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody? I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? There has to be something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what this kid's all about. Alright. Steel Samurai just escaped from the clutches of the villain, so I held my camera up to take a picture. But the lens went open in time, so I missed it. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased them. What were the shots of? You erased them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved Steel Samurai vic uh, victorious? Well, you know. Why would I want to keep a picture like that? Hmm, he's becoming less and less cooperative. I better find a clear contradiction. Solid evidence. Alright, so I'm gonna... I have evidence for that. I'm assuming that he still has the picture, but he probably doesn't want to add it to his scrapbook. You never miss a live performance, you lying son of a bitch. Cody! What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. 
I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Oh, right. Was it, uh, was it you that told me then? I got, I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Huh! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Heckins. He claims it a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Amongst all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Oh. Order! Order in the court, I say. Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No! Wait! No way! Phoenix, I think we finally discovered the truth. And the truth is... And what truth is it? Mia, are we sure about this? Did he actually... Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell him, Phoenix. Tell him what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what's going on here. What's going on in here? What, uh, why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photo he took? The photos were blurry. He erased them by mistake. The, sealed, the Steel Samurai did not win. He got his ass kicked. I can think of only... Well, the kid did say that he escaped from the clutches of the evildoer. Right. Oh, give me a second. I gotta fucking put my headset on a charger. It's dying on me. Where is it? There we go. Just the way my fucking setup is. I can only hear the game through my headset, not through uh, anything else. Alright. I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, am I right? Aren't I? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No. No way. No. It's impossible. The Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone. Ever. Your Honor. The witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take the picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit that he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Oh, damn. Putting him in his place. Oh, order. I will have order. Witness. I mean, Cody. Is this true? What did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... <laughs> That's what you get for being a little bitch. Couldn't handle the truth. Can't stand the heat. Get the fuck out of my kitchen. Cody. That day you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? Okay, okay. You're right. The Steel Samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Damn. Got him. He's just a kid. Feels bad, man. Well, listen. Kid wanna play adult games, can't handle it. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking up the testimony and shit. And Edgeworth over here entertaining this bullshit. What kind of stun are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yes, according to your witness testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What is this all about? Hammer was the victim. Steel Samurai was the victim. There is no victim! Uh, shit. The Steel Samurai was the victim. If you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. 
At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jackhammer was the Steel Samurai. Uh... Saw his hero losing, and the anime is done better? Actually, he wasn't even called as a witness. Damn. Order, order. So the Steel Samurai in this photograph. You're saying this man is... The this man in costume was the victim, Mr. Jackhammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jackhammer was present at the action scene run, th run through that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about the... knew about Will Power's foot injury. But wait! How did Mr. Hammer gone to the Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the ground station at 1 p.m. Ground station? Guard station, my bad. Did I see poor old Hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him go to Studio One. Nor was there any picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. But why would the victim do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. Huh? I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So, it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Huh? Me? What? Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Data? Yeah, a photo on my digital camera. Hmm. What? Show us quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. Now. <laughs> Here, this is it. So he wasn't in studio yet. Okay. And he's outside studio too, it seems. He's looking at this still a little hard to say. I'm afraid that I could be anyone in this costume. That I could be anyone in the costume? I'm afraid it could be anyone in the Uh... Let's see. I honestly don't know why people don't like the anime. It triggers, it triggers me a, a little not on a lie. I understand it's not all changes were good, but the majority. I don't know. See, all I heard about the anime, right? I never watched it, right? All I heard about it, though, when it came out was that the first three, maybe four episodes people didn't like, but I heard it picked up really good after that. So, that that's what I heard all about it. I heard overall it was good, it's just that the beginning part, someone told me that it wasn't that good. Uh, they also told me something about the animation was weird, but I think they fixed it later. I don't know. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't, this isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, this doesn't look like proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix. Mia, what? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? Your Honor, may I see this photo once more, please? Certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring decisive inconsistency where the facts, as we know them, are in the photo. Alright. Find the inconsistency. Well... This number two up here. Your Honor, look at this! I see. A gate. Might I draw your attention to the number of the gate? The number? Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like the number two. Certainly not number one, Your Honor. Correct? Ugh. I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But... That's impossible! Hmm. Ugh. What's this all about? Please explain so that I may be shocked along with the rest of the court. I used the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what what do we see in the photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, here is the truth seen in crime. Show the judge where the murder took place. Take that! Here, at Studio Two. I see. That would explain two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, 
I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. The trailer is there! As you may recall, there's a trailer in Studio 2. Now on the day of the meeting was held in the very trailer, there was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of the death. Uh, let me see. The first season is 6, 6, 7 of 10. Okay, the animation gets better, especially in the second season. The second season is 89 for me. Okay. Oh, my bad. You put a space between 6 and 7. You mean 67, right? Or 6 or 7 out of 10? Alright. Uh, it's 8-9. The third game pretty much perfectly. First season and second game and second season. It's only the third game Charles is really. Nobla Inglas? Hey. Hey, don't make fun of my ghetto-ness. <laughs> Alright. During the break, Mr. Samuel and Miss De De Vasquez or the uh, De Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The bath to the trial was blocked. A uh, trial? Trailer. So, we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes. Yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Sam Samuel's... Bleh, his fucking name. I can never say that word. Also me... Uh, wow. Also me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could have gone to Studio 1. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. Trailer. Wow. Uh, shit. <laughs> they were the only ones who accessed the scene of the crime, Studio 2. Oh, so they got rid of, uh... It's way darker? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that, definitely. Watching the movie after the game. Aren't there like uh, three more games after? Isn't there like a total of seven games? I might be wrong. Also, do you know if they're planning on like, uh, like HDifying the rest of the games? Or do I gotta go on the fucking 3DS and buy them? Order. Order. The defense makes the following claims The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldback, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole the samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai's costume? Are you suggesting he did it to cover up the details of his own murder? Well, no, of course not. Hmm. Or did you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jackhammer stole the costume. I have proof! You do? You do, Mr. Wright. Now that they're so surprised suddenly, I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jackhammer stole the costume. The sleeping pills! hey This is it. An empty medicine bottle? I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills. The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon slipping. Slipping? Wow, sleeping. Uh, let me see. No word yet, but the station sport is on console sell really well. Yeah, I noticed so really well. Like, I noticed when it came out, a lot of people were streaming it. Which is why I was like, hmm, this is a perfect time for me to get to Phoenix Wright. But, you know, at the time my computer exploded, so I couldn't do shit about it. Uh... Should port more, but it's Capcom. Oh no, Capcom's pretty... Maybe about ports are not that good, but about like re-releases and stuff like that, they've been pretty cool as well. I mean, look at all the shit they're doing for Resident Evil, it's pretty crazy. Uh... Let's see. So. Yeah, recently they're doing fine. Yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, even at the time this came out, like what, 2017? Like, uh... They were... They were getting ready for the stuff with Resident Evil 2. They had to put, like, most of their shit towards that, I guess. 
Uh, he was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicion, yes. But there's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Fingerprint the bottle. Examine Hammer's body. Run some fingerprints, even though I got my grubby mutts all over it. Uh... Yeah, run some fingerprints. An idea. Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on the bottle. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle was given to judge. Now he can put fairies and milk in it. Didn't the... Didn't this come out like 2017? And it was until like towards the end of 2017, like a PlayStation experience, when they announced that, uh. No, bullshit. This didn't come out 2019, did it? I thought I had this game for longer. I don't know, man. I fucking like bought this around when it came out, and I only touched it like for the first two trials, and then I never went back. I could have sworn it came out before, uh, before Resident Evil 2. Damn. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Uh, still got it by what? Uh, Resident Evil or Phoenix Wright? Oh, Phoenix Wright? Probably. Cody Hagen's testimony has revealed new possibilities in the case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we pre uh, previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbags may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did have time to commit the murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is still f What? Your homework is to find the answer to the following questions. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him, and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm? You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Willpowers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. Only to replay it? Well, I mean, yeah, of course. There's nothing wrong with replaying these damn games. Very well, court is adjourned. Like, don't get me wrong, fucking, I probably went through Kingdom Hearts 2, like, 30 times by now, even more, maybe. I play that game, like, every year. Front to back. I love that game. Phew. That was, that was a close one. We were saved by here, but that's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during this trial. Me too. Really? You both seem so, so confident. Huh, <laughs> maybe I should take up a career in acting. I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Me too. D dead? Haha, <laughs> of course. We're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. You, I was about to just hand you over. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to make our final investigations. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's trial. Right. Thanks. To be continued. 11 years ago? Yeah. You wanna know what makes me feel old? The fact that I fucking... I remember I was talking to my nephew one time, and I was all like, Man, dude, Scooby-Doo is great. I love Scooby-Doo. And he's like, what's the point of Scooby-Doo? All I do is walk around with a dog. And I was like, my guy, have you never saw a fucking... I was like, my dude, have you never seen Zombie Island? One of the best Scooby-Doo movies ever? And then he looked at me, he said, what the fuck is that? And I went, oh, oh no, oh no, I'm so old. Ugh. <laughs> and then we sat down and I forced him to watch Zombie Island. And by the end of it, I was like, isn't this cool as shit? And he went, yeah, okay, I guess it's cool. <laughs> He's like, okay, I guess, I guess Scooby-Doo is cool. All right. I was like, you're damn right it is. I love Scooby-Doo. All right. Shit. What time is it? Damn.
All right. Well, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to end the stream off here. This is mainly my fault because I did start the stream pretty fucking late. I started like two hours late than what I was supposed to do because I was pretty busy earlier today. So later again, today, tonight, whatever, tomorrow, uh, continue one minute. All right. One more minute. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Huh? M Maya? So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is motive and proof. Wow! Good going, Nick. On the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's a new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. So under the system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we have no time to waste. Cancel it? Lore? <laughs> what? You're confusing me, man! Alright, so continue for tomorrow? Okay. So we're gonna stop it here. All right. That's gonna be it for this stream. I keep saying tomorrow, but, you know, tomorrow, today, whatever. Okay, <laughs> have a good night. Uh, in case do. Alright. So, this is going to be in the stream. Uh, same time tomorrow. Well, I say same time. I actually mean, I'm going... The scheduled time, right? 12.30 EST. Um, fuck is the other time? 9.30 uh, PT, uh, PDT, right? So, thank you once again, guys, for showing up to the stream. Helps out a lot. Case 3 ends. Yeah. Case 4 hype. All right, yeah. We're definitely going to finish Case 3 tomorrow, and we're definitely going to make a good ways for uh, Case 4. If I if I didn't start as late as I did, I probably would have finished Case 3 by now. We would have had, like, two more hours. But, yeah. Thanks for coming to the stream. Helps out a lot. It's nice to see that people are interested in this. Um, and, of course, for the people on YouTube, thanks for watching the video when this gets uploaded. If it's morning for you, have a great rest of your day. If it's afternoon, make sure you go to sleep at a proper time. And if you're a night owl like me, uh, well, then steal as much as you can and don't get caught for it. So, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. Yeah, 1236. <laughs> um, if it's your birthday, happy birthday to all, right? Treat yourself. If it's the birthday of your parents or something like that, treat them. Treat them nice and fine. And, once again, thank you everyone for watching and participating. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.